Hey guys, super excited to teach you something new that is a, a, a mini weather app. So today we are going to design a mini weather app that is it will find the weather opportunities you will provide to it. So let's start. First of all, uh, in this green one, you have to drag one column and one web viewer. So firstly, after dragging the column, move to the bottom portion and set the bottom margin as 10 peaks in the column and then drag the web viewer here. So you can see a little gap between these two. Now inside the weather slide, you have to drag something. That is first you have to drag on text input. You can see the text inputs, you can design it beautifully. Please. So after that, you have to drag on button. You can design the button as your choice or preference. And here in the margin portion, you have to uh, set the top margin as four pixels and the bottom margin as four pixels. After the button, you have to drag one label. In the label, you have to change the ID of the label to TEMP, temp. And set its font size to 20 and color to black. After that, uh, you have to set the margin to, to 5 pixels and then you can duplicate it from here. You can click on duplicate and it will be duplicated. So there will be temp1. Another. So uh, let's go to code. So uh, we are taking the data from a source, but uh, I think uh, today I will not go to that advanced things. Today I will only share my API key and you can do with that. You will be comfortable with that. So let's start. Uh, so you uh, first you have to initialize one variable. So I think you know how to initialize from here. You can initialize. You have to set the name to API key and you have to set the value to null. That is empty. And then when screen one, when screen one starts, set variable API key to set a variable API key to have to drag on text. So you can see here something is written C eight seven F seven zero E two. So I'll be sharing this API key with you in the description box right below. So you can copy it from there and you can paste it here. After that, when button one click, you can see, let's go to the design portion and let's search wave API. So you know it's, an, it's one invisible component that takes data from a website. So here you have to drag it to the invisible component section. So after that, so I have renamed this as open weather API link source address. You can leave it as web API key one. Oh, sorry, web API one. And you have to click on this. From API set URL to, so the URL will be, firstly, this link, I'll be sharing it, uh, I will be sharing it with you in the description box below. This link, you have to uh, bring this join like this and you can keep on increasing the items like this and after that in the first word you have to do this well the second portion is text input one okay text here you have to drag well the third portion means like this if there is one two three four five six one two three four five six well there is six, so you have to drag six items like this. Four, five, six. Six items. And here, one by one, you will arrange. First, you will drag one text, then text input one. You get text here. Then one more text from here. And units is equal to, then one more text, imperial one more text and app id is equal to and again one more text sorry not text variable it is api key so let me show you how it works 
So you can see I have written something here. So what is the text? You can see it's joining the text. This first one, this I have written this here up to this to this, and then text input one get text text input one get text is uh, the user will type suppose uh, I want to get the temperature of Kolkata, so I will type just Kolkata, and here Kolkata will be there, and units is equal to and units is equal to imperial. You can see imperial. And app ID is equal to so that you can see and app ID is equal to so app ID means the API key that is this one so you can see I have variable API key so I pasted my API key here now let's start you can see there are many things so our app will basically do one thing that it will figure out the temperature of uh, that is it will figure out the temperature so like this it will happen. This is uh, the basic process. So as I have told you, I will uh, describe this in the description box right below. So after that, you have to drag this get. Inside this get, you can see there are two labels, temp and temp1. So let's first program it for temp. So when uh, sorry from temp set text to from here you have to drag set text to you have to drag it here like this set text to again you have to join two texts together so after doing this joining in the last one you will type degrees one right so i know there is no degrees in your keyboard you will type degrees degree symbol so here you can find this degree symbol. You can copy it from here. You can type this degree. You can see your degree and F. So like this you can do. So here you can see get property of temp. So let me show, introduce you with one more thing. Objects. So now we'll drag the code from this property. So you can see join Fahrenheit. So in this portion, suppose this portion is missing. So let me show you how to program this one, this full portion. Go to object, get this one, get property. The property name should be temp, temp, the temperature, temp. Now get one more property of the project here. Name this MAIN, like here, and then get this one get object from json and then drag this response to this portion well it is completed so after that you can just set the temp1 text to so simply you can search in google fun and height to celsius I think uh, nothing is left. We have to just convert it. You can see. So let's uh, let it be x degrees. X degrees. For a minus 32 into 5 by 9 is equal. So you can see in the middle is multiply. So first of all, we will drag one multiply sign. It's simple. You have to drag one multiply sign. We have to drag one multiplication side like this. Then you can see in this side five divided by nine. So uh, this blocks are from math. I am sure you know this. Five by nine. And here you have to copy this. Control plus C and Control plus V, and you can press. You can uh, duplicate this. Right click and duplicate this. And I am doing this Control plus C and Control plus V. This is the shortcut. And then you can sit here. And in the bottom portion is degree Celsius. Like this, you have written here degrees Fahrenheit. You will write degrees Celsius. So I think everything is clear. And one more thing left. So uh, we can't uh, let our user go like that. They will only get the uh, temperature. They will also get the map of that place. So uh, I think uh, we can take this from Google Map. 
from web viewer set keyword into the URL will be join. You have to join to text that is https colon slash slash www.google.co.in slash map slash play slash and then text input one get text understood suppose let me give you an example you are joined you have to uh, get the map of kolkata search so here you can see kolkata so like this you can search our users can search so they will get the information also sometimes you know you have to do one more thing here in celsius part you know sometimes it gets that 17.00003412 so like that so let's round it off to only two decimal places let's take this one this block place it here and let's give it here with two decimal places once if it is uh, 1.21 so it will be 1.2 i think it's clear 1.2 so like this it will round it off to two decimal places so our app is completed so now let's test it in our device well i'm very interested to see the live preview of our app aren't you so let's see so in my device you can see so well uh, let me show it here and it will be more clear i think so let let me show it to you here i think uh, it's much big so uh, let's search m u m b a i mumbai so you can see the temperature so here you can see the google map it will be shown in your physical device so let's search like uh, you can say uh, temperatures of foreign lands uh, so let me show you some of india's lands like palakata well like this you can see uh, the temperature of many cities but be aware that if you enter wrong spelling or if you enter the name of a very very small area then the app will go blank so be careful of that and uh, you are all done so from here you can download this app download and drive you can send it via whatsapp web and you can check it on your device it will be perfectly fine the maps will be there and you know i will tell you one more secret that thunkable has its own app thunkable life where you can see your uh, recently done project so you have to click on my mini weather app and you can see so friends uh, I think uh, if you get some benefits from my video, please don't forget to like and share my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channels because you know uh, by subscribing when I get subscribers, I am really encouraged and I will teach you coding. If you subscribe my channel, I will try to teach you everything in coding. Thank you.